Welcome back, everyone. This is Victor Campos. Uh, let's look at more of uh, Google Plus and its features for your business. So uh, actually, before I show the next thing that I wanted to, I noticed that I've got at the top here some more notifications. Now remember, the last video I had, uh, I had us go to a community and then uh, post some content to a community. The point of that was to tap into a potential captive audience. So it may have paid off. I haven't checked these yet, so hopefully they're safe for work, but this is the nature of a public medium. So I've got two notifications. I will click. It pops up. Shirley Barnes plus one. My, um, oh, okay, so my introductory... Um, message to this community has been plus one. I'll look at that in detail. And then my cakes uh, request, my join to my request to join this community has been accepted. So now I'm a member there. I'll, I'll explore that in a moment. But I want to see Shirley Barnes' message here. So uh, this is in the baking community in the introduce yourself. And it's got a plus one. So I can uh, click on the time of the particular post so then it'll focus on it'll focus on um, that particular post and whatever activity happens uh, will be listed here notice if you put your mouse over anything you post you get the you get the little arrow there we've seen that before options menu if you click that and this time if you look at view post activity It'll flip to show you, well, here's the person that plus one did, here's the person that commented, etc., etc. So this is good. Uh, a person um, interacted with me. So I can do a couple of things here. I can uh, add that person right away. Uh, and uh, if I add someone on social media, they may add me back. So that's a good way to get uh, to get followers. That's another method. I could, however, take a moment instead to first go to their profile to kind of see what they're about. 82,000 followers, 10,000 views. And I want to see if they're a spam or not. So um, in, their, in his circles, uh, 19 people. So that's good. If it was a spam bot, it may be very much lower. In, have him in circle so he's following 82 people now I don't see any content here under posts because a person can choose to share content only with those that they are connected with not with the general public so we've seen that before I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot I'm going to add Shirley to my uh, to my circles so I'll click on that and I'll add them under um, well, I'll add them under foodies. I could add them under following, but remember, the limitation of following is that when you select one of the options to share to, following will not be included. That one is uh, the option of of uh, your circles. Remember, we can share to public, your circles, mm -hmm. or extended circles. If you select your circles, following is not included. Following is a way to follow accounts, but not actually really bother them. So any other um, section, they will be notified if you share with them. I'll put them under foodies. So now Shirley got the notification that she was followed up on her notification bell. And uh, I'm starting to create um, interaction. So let me see what else. I'm going to... Um, Go back to these notifications, and the other one was that I've been accepted to this uh, community. That's good, so more places to post to. So I'll actually go to that community. Uh, remember, this is 906 members about baked goods and all of that. Now you may see a few things popping up here and there. Um, for example, when you when I get to this community screen, you'll be notified of new posts. Click here to change your settings. Let's take a moment to look at the settings for posts. I'm sorry, the settings for communities. So uh, this community has a little options gear here. Click on that. Uh, if I no longer wish to be affiliated with a community, I can leave it. No problem. I can report it for abuse. I can share it. If I select to share, I'm going to share this on my own 
uh, timeline so that other people can see it. Um, show posts in home screen or home stream. So when someone posts something new to this community, I will see it on my home stream. And usually I do. But if it's a lot of content, I can change the amount right here from more standard or fewer. So it's a very if it's a very talkative community, I can say show me fewer posts. I don't know what algorithm Google Plus uh, uses to determine what that actually means, but you can change it there pretty easily. All right, so this section or this community um, has the sections disk use, cakes, rolls, cookies, other sweets, events. Um, so if I wanted to post something to one of these communities, I could easily post there. I think this means discuss. All right, so I'm going to actually discuss something there. I'm going to click and say, uh, we're very happy to join this community. Our favorite baked good is a pecan pie. What about you? And then so that it hopefully stands out from the crowd, I'm going to bold that text with the asterisk. And then add that to the Discuss section and Share. So perhaps then I'll see more activity as people begin to see my content, this close-knit community. Now, I did say earlier about um, joining communities that have more than a thousand uh, followers, and that's good. But if you, uh, if you join a community that needs to be approved, I tend to see that that has a little bit better activity because someone has, a moderator has vetted your content. So anyway, so um, this video then was about checking out the uh, notifications that may arise and, and doing follow-ups. It's important to follow up on content, on notifications, uh, because then you will uh, create interactivity in your so in your Google Plus profile. So come back for the next video to see about events, another way to create interactivity.